then I start to clean. Okay, so it is golden hour once more and uh, I'm just on my way back from the beach. Uh, took a little ride down there to uh, get an ice cream with a family and uh, went down on Igor the e-bike. Uh, there it is. Uh, you can see the shadows are a little long and uh, riding just uh, next to the uh, golf course here in, in uh, Strand, Somerset West. Sorry, I'm just handling, uh, handing my camera over. So one of the questions I often get asked about my, uh, my trusty e-bike here is whether you get any exercise when you ride an e-bike. Now, of course, the answer to that question is uh, as much exercise as you want or you need. Um, firstly, just to say you get two different kinds of e-bikes. You get those that have uh, unassisted uh, motors that work just by engaging the power either via a throttle or a thumb mechanism. And then you get bikes like mine here that, uh, that use a, uh, a pedal assist motor. You can see it down there. And so when you pedal, it adds uh, power to your pedal stroke. So I'll show you quickly how this one works. If you look on my uh, bike here, you can see that's my battery level uh, that's remaining. And you can see that there are a number of different modes there. So you can go all the way from power off, just by flicking the little switch here, uh, all the way from power off to full power. Now on full power mode, I'm just quickly going to change it so that you can see the... Uh, let's just get their max speed odometer range. So on full power mode, you can see that I'll get about 55 kilometers. Uh, if you go down to normal power mode, obviously it's putting less power into the motor, 74 kilometers, but you have to work a little harder. Eco mode. 92 kilometers and off well as many kilometers as your legs can take you so uh, as you can see i live uh sort of over there uh and i work on the side of that mountain on actually directly on the other side of that uh, mountain range so that means when i commute to work uh, i have to go over that mountain range and so often what i do is if i'm a little bit tight for time or if it's a hot day uh, or yeah if I'm if the wind is howling we have quite strong winds here in Cape Town or when I just go up the, uh, the side of the mountain there on the hill I'll engage either normal or full power mode and that gets me over it up to 45 kilometers an hour I don't have to pedal too hard and so most of my workout then comes from my cadence you might have seen uh, I normally keep my bike's uh, computer on cadence and so my legs are spinning maybe at uh, 85 or 90 rotations per minute and so you get a bit of a, a sort of cardio workout but it's not a strength workout often in the afternoons when i'm coming home uh, then i'll either switch the motor off altogether or go on eco mode so yes you can get a bit of a workout uh, on an e-bike but perhaps the best workout that you get is uh, just being in the outdoors with uh, the wind blowing through your hair or at least through your helmet and uh, just getting to enjoy a little bit of fitness. I can say that, um, that I, when I do ride my e-bike regularly, so when I'm not traveling, uh, my weight does tend to be a lot more consistent. So I am burning some calories, I can see that, uh, because when I'm overseas and I'm not riding my e-bike as regularly, but still run as I normally do, then uh, my weight tends to creep up just a little bit. So uh, I certainly can say for myself, I do get uh, a little bit of exercise. So thanks for watching. Uh, there are a few more videos about uh, my e-bike, Igor, the giant quick e, 2018, uh, 28 mile per hour uh, bike on my YouTube channel, Dion Foster on YouTube, or you can look for me, Dion A. Foster on youtube.com or at Digital Dion on Instagram or Twitter. So thanks for watching.